So what I'm trying to make here is an adjustable pressure regulator for the fuel line. Now the fuel lines on the Dodges and Jeeps um, mostly use a pressure regulator like this. Here it is cut open and they're all very similar and actually most vehicles have a similar pressure regulator. Now if you look inside there, there's a rubber diaphragm and this spring pushes against the little ball. The pressure obviously you know, have to just let through a little bit of fuel and as the pressure as, as the pressure increases the spring compresses and that lets fuel through and then releases the pressure so you get a constant regulation of pressure and you can actually change the pressure by compressing the spring now these are not adjustable and you do get adjustable ones for certain vehicles but you don't get one for this vehicle and the only other way to get adjustable fuel pressure would be to buy an aftermarket one which is a big bulky thing which I don't want I'd rather make this into an adjustable pressure regulator. So what I did is, I first began by cutting this open and then you've got to turn a piece to make this longer and the trick about this is that you have a bracket which comes over here so this thing has got to be very very fine. It's got to be cut very very fine with a very thin wall so that when you put this over the total diameter is enough to get this funny bracket thing over there and I think I've managed to achieve that um, and then what I've done is I've soldered on with some plumbing solder this very nib from a sacrificial pressure regulator and this goes to the vacuum line so that part is sorted out and so now I've got to make the adjustable part um, now I was too lazy to cut threads so what I did is I got this quarter inch fine thread bolt and nut and I turned them down so this is made out of the nut and that screws on there this goes into here and there's a little bit of a recess on the end of this which will go into the spring so I can tighten down the spring and adjust the fuel pressure and then with the fuel pressure gauge I'll be able to set the fuel pressure exactly as I want so all this I'll just uh, press together and glue up with some Loctite and that completes this adjustable fuel pressure regulator. Now the only reservation I have is that this whole thing is quite heavy. And with the motor shaking, I'm a bit concerned that um, this is going to start to wear on the O-rings. And it may be a problem, I'm not sure. So here is a fuel pressure regulator installed and here is a fuel pressure gauge to check that the regulator is adjusted correctly. So here is installed. Here's the old one. And if I turn this knob, this adjusts up and down. I've adjusted it to 31 psi, which is the correct pressure for this engine. To back the service manual. So if I lean over and turn it, it's a bit difficult to turn. But you see it going up. So the next thing to do, because it's a striking engine, is just to release the pressure a little bit and essentially tune it so that it's wide open throttle is not running too rich. Because at the moment the injectors are a bit oversized and the, the fuel mix is a bit rich. So here I've installed an aftermarket oxygen sensor. Um, I'll list the brand in the description. So here's the ECU learning the current conditions. So you see it starts at 12 and then gradually adjusts until it gets to 14.7 so this is the intelligent learning aspect and as you can see the ECU has learned the parameters quite successfully it's now just on stoichiometric ratio at idle and what we want to do is we want to go to full throttle because at full throttle 
this ECU switches to non-tuned tables which do not have any adjustments because they're, they're based on maximum performance. So it's, it's unlike when you're in below 75% throttle, throttle where the ECU has calculated an average of what the best fuel injection is. So we should be getting 13.3 to 1 because that's kind of um, a lean hard torque fuel ratio. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go full throttle and we're going to see what kind of ratio we get. So that seemed uh, quite good. There was around 12 or 13, depending on where in the RPM range you are, which is kind of what I wanted. I'm actually kind of thinking maybe I should go a little bit leaner. Um, so I'm going to take the fuel pressure down just a little bit more.